All right, welcome back, Burley fam. Um, name is Jory. Uh, I'm here to do some great reviews. Uh, check out Burley Mountain Outdoors. That's going to be my website uh, for any sort of new gear drops, things that I'm bringing in. I'm going to try and bring some specialty items. Uh, but today I have something special for you. I have an unboxing of the Volleybach Lumber Jacket Stormproof Edition. Um, I love this jacket. I have the other two colors, and so it went on sale this year in their vault sale. Still going out right now. Time of video. Um, maybe not by the time I post it, but uh, so I thought I'd just round out the collection and get the third one. This is like one of my favorite jackets. I really love this jacket. So uh, if you're new to Volleybach, Volleybach. Um, company out of London, making clothing for the future. I think they're great. Um, one of my favorite brands, they are exuberantly expensive and like somewhat cost prohibitive. So um, once a year, twice a year, they drop a sale. I usually try and cop a few items. I've been doing that for a few years now. I really like their things. I think they're innovative. I like the way they make things. I like their story. It just kind of like appeals to me. They're like not a huge like label person they're not like big ostentatious labels on your shoulder or your back like if you don't know you don't know if you know you might know but um anyway here for you today the lumber jacket thorn proof edition um so i like this jacket they give you like a pretty cool story about how lumber workers you know needed these jackets to work in the field and they're you know, this is their thing, and this is, you know, tools to help them for the future. This one feels different than the other ones. This one's way different. Um, anyway, so this is unboxing. This is the Lumber Jacket Thorn Proof Edition. Um, the outside is 100% wool. It has a pretty thin insulation in it, which is actually pretty warm. I've worn it down to pretty cold weather, or the other two I have. Um, it's made out of 50% recycled polyurethane uh, bottles and 50% polyester. This is like a cordura lining on the inside. I don't know if we have like a flash here that we can try and light up the room, but um, it's slightly textured. Um, the outside is wool, although it's it's definitely a different feel from the other two jackets. And I'll go ahead and show those to you in a second also. Um, I got a size large. This jacket fits me really well. Uh, I am 5'6". I weigh 195 pounds and I am... A 44 chest. Um, I like this jacket. I think it's pretty slick looking. Personally, I like it. Um, which is why I got the third one. I mean, I have all three. I mean, to me, this jacket's like, it's just, it's a good looking jacket. It's got a metal button snap closure. Pretty simple. Um, no big labels on the outside. If you don't know it's Volleybach, you don't know. It doesn't say so anywhere on the sleeves, anywhere on anything um it's got two pockets on the front of the chest they zip closed we got one button pocket here um button snaps on the sleeve here batten down this jacket is a little bit different than than the other two i have this one the other two feel kind of like a wool on the outside they have a little bit more of a gritty texture this one's a little bit smoother a little bit softer this jacket feels a little bit lighter but um you know the collar and just know that it's like a badass jacket it's expensive um you're getting this jacket on sale for 350 if you're not lucky enough to catch the sale you're looking at almost 700 dollars and they recently upped their prices the other jackets actually weren't that expensive they're sold out in the large right now um triple stitched for durability metal snap uh at the cuff, uh, wool sourced from New Zealand and Australia, dry clean this jacket only. I've never washed my other two. I've worn them plenty of times and I like it. This jacket's a keeper for me. This is a badass jacket. I like it. I just, the cuffs are a little bit tight on this one. It's a little bit different than the other one. The other one, I fold, I fold the cuffs back. Maybe I should do that on this one too. Maybe I do that on this one too. I kind of like to fold the cuff back a little bit. It's nice. You know, I'm kind of short. I have short arms. It's okay. It fits me nicely, though. But I like the look of it. You know, it's got like two pockets on the side. They're cordura on the inside. They're not fleece lined or anything like that. But I'm telling you, I've worn this jacket down to pretty low temperatures, and it's kept me pretty warm. It's it's surprisingly warm for the weight. Um, no internal pockets, anything like that. There's like a little air cuff down here at the bottom. It's it's simple. It's bad. It's nice. It's not cheap. It's a style thing. 
Um, it does work well. There is an ax loop right here in case you feel like busting out your ax or hatchet. I don't know what kind of person is buying this jacket and bringing it in the forest. Let's just be real, Volleybach. We're not doing it. That doesn't mean I don't love it, because I do. I mean, I own all three of them. <laughs> but, um, and, and I don't know how many people do that. I don't know how many people, like, are religious about this jacket. There's not that many reviews online about Volleybach in general, and which is why I started to kind of do this series. So I'm going to put out a series of videos of all my Volleybach gear I got. Way too much. I have a sickness. It's a disease, honestly. But I just, I like it. It's, uh, they fit nice. I think they look good. And you're, honestly, you're not going to know. It, you're not going to see anyone else on the street wearing this jacket. Like, if you're the type of person who, and, and I'm that kind of guy. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but, like, I hate walking down the street and be like, oh, hey, I'm wearing that same shirt. No way. We have so much in common. Like, I don't want to have that much in common with you. We don't. Other than we both shop at Walmart. And there's nothing wrong with that. But also, I like it. It's slick. Uh, this is a keeper for sure. I'm not sending this one back. It's good. All right. So just for comparison, um, this is the purple edition. Um, and again, it's got more of like a wool type feel. Still really soft, but it's, it's a little bit of a different texture. You can see the fibers in this one. The colors come out. I wear it with like, I got this like cool pair of like green jeans, but I recently lost a bunch of weight and now they don't fit. Same Cordura lining on the inside, same shape, same, same everything. I guess they are the same. The buttons are the same here. So they kind of like do like this. I always fold them back. I don't know what it is about that. I fold them up. I make like a little cuff out of it, but, um, you know, it's light. It's not a heavy jacket, but you button it up. No one's wearing this purple and yellow jacket. I feel like a badass when I wear it. I don't know what I got in the pocket. Oh, what did I go see? The Illusionist. It was not that good. Um, jacket. All right, so that's the purple edition. It's like a purple and yellow edition. Same two pockets, same button snap. 100% wool on the outside. I don't know why one is thorn proof and one's not. Maybe the smoother material of the black wool prevents it from being, you know, if you're going to wear it in the forest, it's like snag proof, they're calling it. I don't see this jacket being snag proof, honestly. The purple edition, at least. Maybe this one, this one, this other one, maybe it's snag proof because it's, it's just woven a little bit tighter. At least that's what it feels like to me. So purple edition. And then in case you want to see, because I have the third one here, because again, I have some sort of a sick disease. This is like the green edition. It's got like kind of this cool green and blue hue to it. It's like a khaki type thing going on. Same fit, same Cordura inner lining. I pop the hood, or the, the collar. Why? I don't know. I'm not really a pop the collar kind of guy, but I do think it looks good on this. Button it down, again, pretty good in cold weather. I've worn it down for sure to the 30s. Yeah, it's a little bit nippy, but... Um, it's good. I love it. It's good. I think it's a good looking jacket. Something different. Ain't no one else going to have this. It matches between the three of them. You can match everything. It's just like a good color match. Um, I don't know. For me, that's my style. I like these jackets. I think they're good jackets. All right. What else? I think uh, that's maybe it for the Volleybach jacket. Let's see. Anything else that I should tell you about um, on the jacket? Clothes for dangerous work. Uh, if you go online, it'll give you a cool story about it. They rebuilt the shirt and turned it into a jacket. Um, every jacket is three layers. Again, it's like a, you know, recycled polyurethane, plastic uh, insulation, pretty lightweight. Um, it's made in one of the oldest world's uh, woolen mills, um, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, they have a story for everything that they that they do. It's kind of like a part of their thing. I don't want to say it's like a gimmick because it's legit, but they have everything that they do has like a story. If you kind of buy into the story, that's what it is. Um, but I think the construction is fantastic. Um, and I just personally, which is the only reason I own three of these in all different colors, I think it's a good looking jacket. So, um, anyway, I know for a fact that there's no videos out on this. So if you like this video, um, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Drop them below in the comments. Check out uh, Burley Project on Instagram and Burley Mountain Outdoors. That's the store. 
Um, right now I got Supernova coming in from Korea. And so you can check that kind of gear out. It's gonna be limited. It's not really available in the States. I'm the only one who's gonna be able to carry it and it is limited here. So we'll see, see if you can catch some Supernova. But um, if you're into camping, high end camping. Um, anyway, I got a few more videos coming after you for some different Volleybach things. Um, and I'll see you on the other side. Stay burly. Thanks for listening. Bye.